YouTubers, I'm back. Uh, I feel the need to, to spur it in my heart to make this video. Uh, I want to talk to you. Uh, this monetary system as we know it is a done deal. It's pretty much over. But I want to talk to you scripturally tonight. Uh, hope it don't deter you from watching my videos, but uh, you need to just, just hear me out. If you don't want to agree with it, that's fine. But I want to talk to you for a minute on uh, what's uh, around the corner. And let me uh, preface it by saying this. According to what I read in the Bible, not man's tradition, not no books, I'm talking about the Bible, okay? I got to go there tonight. It's, it's just it's burning in me. I got to go there, and I'm just going to preach tonight, pretty much. But, uh, and I probably ain't going to be able to be still, because I never have when I preach. But having said that, I want to talk to you tonight about the monetary system uh, failing, and uh, I want to tell you right now that the next step is... Uh, will be the issuance of the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast will send you to hell. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, you go to hell, okay? Uh, if you worship name, number, the mark of the beast, you're gonna go to hell. Whether you're non-Christian or Christian, if you take that or worship that, you're gonna go to hell. There's no two ways about it, you're gonna go to hell. Now, having said that, I wanna read a few scriptures and uh, I want to let you know and understand that uh, I was brought up uh, believing in a pre-tribulation rapture, okay? Can't find it biblically. I heard it traditionally all my life, and a lot of people still say that they use the scripture, God is not upon us to wrath, but obtain mercy through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I understand that. But that's pertaining to salvation. That's not pertaining to pre-tribulation rapture. Then you have these other preachers that say, Church of God and Baptist preachers and all that, they say, uh, Revelation 4.1. I heard a voice say, Come up hither, John. He was talking to John, preacher. He wasn't talking to the church. You can't prove it scripturally. You can traditionally believe it. And, and I've used this scenario before, and I'm going to use it again. I got a F-250, four-wheel drive, four-door crew cab pickup I paid for and worked for I can walk out to my garage and I can go <laughs> that don't make me be a diesel, diesel pickup okay I can't be okay I can't pour diesel down my throat and go down the road 70 mile an hour if I pour diesel down my throat I'm dead okay so you can say what you want to say but if it's scripture line upon line precept upon precept is what I believe okay when the plain sense of the scripture makes sense don't seek no other sense okay now, the, Jesus Christ said in Matthew 24, okay, he said at the last trump, you understand me? Listen, Paul the Apostle said, 1 Corinthians 51 through 53, last trump, you understand me? Now, go to Revelation, preacher and read the seven seals, then read the seven trumpets. Read what happens before the last trump. A lot of problems taking place. Okay, Revelation ain't necessarily in chronological order neither. Do you understand me, preacher? Just because it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 22. Revelation 22, 21. Genesis 1 1 to Revelation 22 21. I know my Bible, preacher, so don't send me an email with your theological garbage you learned in college because I don't want to hear it. I've not been to no college. I've been to knee near knee university. That means on your knees praying and seeking the face of God for his truth. See, the Bible says in Hosea, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Don't say a lack of theology. He says a, na a lack of knowledge they're destroyed. My goodness, I don't want to get off on that tangent tonight, but in any event, I'm going to read you some scriptures, people. I don't care whether you're saved or not. I want you to hear these scriptures. See, this monetary system has been designed to fail. It's going to fail. Mark my words, it will fail. I will stake my life on it that this system that you know today is going to be non-existent before long. Then they will give you a mark to buy or sell. The Bible says that you won't be able to buy or sell save you have the mark, unless you take the mark. That's why I've been screaming about the collapse of the economy. Get your food, get your guns, get everything you need, and well, 
I told you most importantly, get your relationship with God. That's right. I'm telling you the fundamentals that will keep you from number one, burning in hell, number two, starving to death, number three, drug off by the elitist. Because, let me tell you, the elitist God is Satan. Okay? American Patriots God is Jehovah Jesus Christ. Ever how you want to pronounce him, but you better know him. You pronounce him your way, I know him as Jesus. Yeshua, the Messiah, okay? God so loved the world, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believed in him, not perish to have everlasting life. John 3, 17. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, but that through him the whole world might be saved. Glory to God. I can quote your scriptures all night, preacher. You understand me? I can quote them too. But I won't add to or take away from them. See, Jesus said, you'll know the truth, truth will make you free. The problem with America today is they watch that one-eyed devil box that they don't know the truth, the TV. They watch that one-eyed devil and they get propaganda, they get lies. And half or two-thirds of the people standing in the pulpit of a church will tell you a lie. They'll tell you anything to keep that money coming in. They won't tell you the truth. They won't upset you and you not come next Sunday. See, which ain't even God's day anyway. But I won't get into that. That's another. That's another. That's another time, brother. See, Jesus never changed it. Man changed it. The Bible says in the Book of Daniel's, the Antichrist spirit, the spirit of Antichrist, will even attempt to change the times and the laws and the seasons. Glory to God. Go there and look it up, preacher. Shake the dust off your Bible and read it. Anyway, I want to talk. YouTubers don't. Y'all bear with me, please. I just get like this when I get ready to preach. I get like this when I get ready to preach. And I'm not preaching to you. I'm preaching to myself. I want to make sure that I'm ready. I want to make sure that I know what the... See, this book right here is the only book that's lasted the test of time. Thousands of years old. Don't send me an email on translations. I don't want to hear you, mess. I don't want to hear it. Don't send it to me. Don't send it to me. I don't want to hear it. I ain't got time to read them anyway. I got a lot going on. I'm reading all I can read right now with the emails and everything else going on, trying to keep up with this. <clears throat> but listen, let me get this thing up. Hold it. Y'all bear with me in my folly. Just a minute. 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 And if you'll notice posted on my videos of 2 Timothy chapter 3, I want to read this first before I read the other. Uh, I want to make sure I don't run out of time too because... Uh, my daughter told me the way she had this thing set up, trying to be a little clearer that uh, you couldn't go over or you'd be in trouble, you know. Uh, but anyway, all right, I got two minutes. Work with me on this. Second Timothy chapter three. This know also in the last days, perilous times shall come. Men will be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affections. That means homosexuals, uh, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent. Fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, denying the power thereof. Now, I know I read it fast as lightning, but go back and read it slow. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Read it. Verses 1 through 5. Check it out and see if we ain't living in that today. Paul to Timothy, because God told him, This know also in the last days perilous times shall come. Let me make something real clear to you. Paul ain't my savior. You understand me? These are epistles that he wrote. Timothy ain't my savior. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? No president, senator, congressman, my wife, my kids, none of them are my savior. I'm not my savior. They ain't but one savior, and his name is Jesus Christ. No man come to the Father except by the Son. You understand me? Okay? Now, having said that, I'm going to part two on the video. I'm going to get to this mark of the beast again. Let me say this again. This economic system must fail. No way around it. It's already been written thousands of years ago that it will fall. So they can be a mark offered to you. Are you going to take it? Not me. I'm ready. I'm willing to die for my God. Because to be absent from this body is present with God if you know Jesus. Be back in a minute. God bless you. Love you in the Lord.